The elaboration likelihood model is a theory that explains how people are persuaded to change their attitudes or beliefs. It suggests that there are two ways people process persuasive messages. The central route, which involves careful thinking and evaluation of the message, and the peripheral route, which involves less thinking and is influenced by things like the speaker's attractiveness or emotional appeal. The central route leads to more lasting attitude change because people engage deeply with the message, while the peripheral route can cause quicker but often temporary changes. The origins of the elaboration likelihood model can be traced back to the 1980s when psychologists Richard Petty and John Cacioppo developed a theory to explain how persuasion works in different situations. They wanted to understand why some messages change attitudes in a lasting way, while others only create short-term changes. Their research focused on how much effort people are willing to put into processing a message and how that effort impacts the strength of the attitude change. An example of the elaboration likelihood model in action is in advertising. When someone is deeply interested in buying a new car, they may carefully consider the details of a car advertisement, like fuel efficiency, safety features and price. This is the central route to persuasion. On the other hand, if someone isn't paying much attention, they might be persuaded to like the car simply because the ad features a famous celebrity or has a catchy jingle. This is the peripheral route to persuasion. Both can work, but the central route leads to more thoughtful and lasting decisions. A strength of the elaboration likelihood model is that it recognises different ways people process information, depending on their interest and ability to focus on the message. It helps explain why some people may be more influenced by logical arguments, while others are swayed by superficial cues. This makes the model flexible and applicable to a variety of situations, from marketing to politics to education. One weakness of the elaboration likelihood model is that it can be difficult to predict when someone will use the central route or the peripheral route. People's motivation and ability to process information can change depending on the situation, making it challenging to know which type of persuasion will work best. Additionally, it can oversimplify how complex messages are processed as people may use both routes at the same time or switch between them. An alternative to the elaboration likelihood model is the heuristic systematic model, which also explains how people process information, but focuses more on how people use mental shortcuts, heuristics, to make decisions when they don't have the time or energy to think deeply. While the two models are similar, the heuristic systematic model emphasises that people can use both careful thinking and mental shortcuts simultaneously offering a slightly different view on how persuasion works.